Hello, people of the internet. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Happy Monday to you all. Hopefully your week is off to a great start. Or if you're watching this at any other point in the week, hopefully you're having a great day nonetheless. Flovers, it is so, so good to see you once again. It feels tremendous to be able to lock back in with Promise 9 after what, again, feels like an eternity and a half since we got hashtag me now and that whole unlock my world album promise are back with a brand new music video with a brand new single album but with a brand new era nonetheless and that is extremely exciting indeed i feel like it's been very radio quiet in terms of from us nine stuff uh, in terms of from us nine related musical releases this year like we haven't gotten Really, a whole bunch of OSTs from Fromis this year. I mean, they are doing, you know, water bomb and stuff right now, and there's been a handful of covers here and there that have dropped. But in terms of proper studio releases, we haven't had a whole lot. But they're back now, and I'm very, very happy to check in and see what they have brought to the table today. I have the title track titled Supersonic, as well as the three track single album of the same name, it's the Supersonic single album, with two more B sides on it. Now, yes, it's not that much brand new music, but I know for a fact that three track single albums can really pack a punch. Case in point, Umbi's Flash album up there. One of the best single albums I've ever come across out of the K-pop world. Three no skip absolute bangers on that album. From us are very much capable of doing that in terms of like their sound, in terms of their energy, in terms of their ability. So I have very high expectations when it comes to the quality of the song quality of the music and just the whole fun factor because you know they released a title track way back in the day title fun and it was very fun and one thing from us always brings to the table is fun music so enough waffling from my end let's roll intro and get started here we go I still don't know if I want to update the Fromis clip on the intro reel because it's the last one with Giri in it and she was like, she was my first bias in the group so updating it feels wrong. But then at the same time, Stay This Way is two years old now? I don't know. Interesting thought to think about but that's something for future me to process. For now, we have Supersonic to check out and of course we're doing the uh, rest of the album later so keep your eyes peeled for that if you're interested. But let's go! How loud is it? We're good. Are we gonna cook with this beat for a second? Chao start on a promise title. Hell yeah, okay. Wait, this beat kind of cooks a little. Hold on. Bump it up a little bit. Uh, slide up there one time, Han Yang. What? Oh, that slide is clean. Oh well, there's the there's the main hook, isn't there? Damn. Okay, this song cooks, cooks. I quite like the low vocals in the verses. Nope, oh, never mind. Hide you on. Yeah, the way they're using a lot of low vocals in the verses is nice. And that slide is nuts. It's 
so catchy. It's such a catchy, like, earwormy little clip, isn't it? Whoa, huge slowdown. Okay. There's the release again. Gosh, this course is something else, man. Supersonic, supersonic, ah. Uh. And a bona fide outro, too. Well, damn. Go again. No, hold on. No, before we go again, because we are going again. Um. Wow. It's. It's definitely a, an evolution of the From a Sound of old. Like, it's not really like DM or stay this way. It's not anything like, say, Dugun Dugun or Fun, where we're just going super cutesy. This is a very almost refined and matured sound, but it's taking cues from what is becoming like the sonical norm of the genre right now. We've got that really nice groove in the beat that's really nice and quick. It's not meant to be this big up and down party banger anymore, but what it is, is executed very well. We're seeing more and more groups this year, and I guess now that we are, you know, well and truly into the proper fifth gen cycle now, we're seeing more groups go with this kind of groovier chiller less up and downy type beat but for me this still feels from its nine to me yes it does take composition cues of this current gen current generation but it still has the from its cues to it from their previous discographies which we have covered like in in mass we have covered their full discography it's their they're one of, well, currently three groups that we've done a proper deep dive for alongside Lucy and we're doing on and off at the moment. But it's so them sounding to me. And I, even though they haven't really done anything along this specific line of music, it just screams them to me. It's why I love it. It's why I'm immediately attached to it. But in general, it's just a very catchy song with a really nice energy, nice, snappy, quick beat to it, and so much fun vocal stuff going on. It's like, you can't help but enjoy it. And then you add, like, the From Us factor to it, it's like, hell yes. So, go again. We'll actually talk through the song properly instead of me losing my mind, but... At this point... I was thinking, like, instrumentally, is it like a juiced up me now synth part? Like, is it going to be something that's taking these sound elements from me now, but really ramping the speed up a little bit? And maybe it could be kind of like a part one and part two connection between me now and supersonic. Just, I'm, I'm waffling here, admittedly, but the fact that it's not the... It's a departure, but not a complete departure. It's like going from, I don't know, we'll take Europe, for example. It's like going from Spain to Germany rather than going from Spain to Brazil. If that makes sense. Like we're in the same general area, but it's completely, it's a very different sound. I feel bad for Kaya because she's not going to make it past this, or they're not going to make it past this section of the song. And we're only not even 30 seconds in yet. And they're just going to be. Ch Chang biases are going to be. Hmm, they're going to be struggling. <laughs> Love you, Kaya. I'm 
I'm just amazed at how well they're managing to, well, the music team are managing to keep the vocals for the section low and not get them overwhelmed by the instrumental section, especially with Jihon finishing the verse here. The for how low she's singing here and how much the instrumentals in the background are starting to like really push the envelope and really start ramping it up. It's still a very vocally prominent section here. And I think that's a really hard balancing act to make, but one that's done really well. Also, low vocal Jihon is always a great time, I think. And this release was always going to be great. It was always going to hit if they maintained the fast pacedness but really took advantage of that really low hold and the release, it was going to be a great chorus drop. It's a great chorus drop. Go again. Having the vocals lead it into is always going to be a great touch, but... That slide, that slide is so stylistically fun to listen to, because you just... You feel the way the tone just zoop, slides up and as you're listening to it, it's like, oh, it adds a really nice character to the vocal part. And the fact that, you know, you get it in the chorus where you've already got the really high energy going, it just adds to that high energy moment. And the way they're able to kind of rotate members in and out go essentially ABAB throughout the entire chorus by doing that slide and then get a little bit more rhythmic with it have a nice slide up, get a little rhythmic with it. It's just fun, and it keeps it really fresh too. Almost keeps it up with just how fast paced the song is. And then the hook. Super sonic, super sonic, ah, super, super. And the fact that now that we are into this course, we have that big release. This is the peak of the song in terms of that energy curve. The vocals are written to match that. You know, we're singing in the highest register in the song now. We've got loud, bright, high vocals, tons of energy going on, even with the super, super, supersonic, supersonic part. Yes, it is lower but you're feeling the rhythm and the rhythm and the cadence is making up for the fact that the vocal is lower now and you know the instrumental section in the background is still that high energy you're just super super supersonic supersonic and you're just having a whole lot of fun with it but now we're back into the verse we have to reset the song back a little bit honestly best way to do it low vocal and if we're gonna get a little bit rhythmic with it with a rap section sure whoever is doing it is maintaining that low vocal and really, who else is there, like, who else better than to bring in the nice low vocal moment than Jion, really? Like, her low vocal is spectacular, and I love just the way that her low vocal is being used now in that kind of transitional phase, whether it's bringing in a new verse or finishing a verse. It's just, ooh, ooh, going. <laughs> Even Hyung, who, you know, alongside Juon, oftentimes gets the really, really high notes in From His Nine songs, bringing her range way down, keeps that verse in that low chill vibe. And now that we're in the pre chorus section, you bring in Juon, have her send the vocals up a little bit. Essentially, her voice shooting up in the vocal range is almost acting like the riser for this pre-chorus here. It's just there's a vocal riser and then you have the instrumental riser coming in later. The fact that Juon has sent her voice up a little bit higher now essentially is signifying that we're going to start cooking here. Get ready. Buckle up. Yeah, Low vocals to set it up. I'm no mechanic, but I don't know how effective an air filter in a freezer box is actually, but it, it makes for an interesting, uh, it makes for an interesting visual effect, doesn't it? But ultimately, this song is just 
there, there's a lot of brain work going on with this song that makes it perfect to listen to. It's easy to listen to. It's easy to follow along with, and I can't, I can't complain about it one bit. And this is what I was talking about with the Fromis Nine Magic. It's, it's so easy for them. They can do, you know, me now is a little bit more of a mellower tune, because you know before then you had Stay This Way, which was very nice and bright summery banger before that was just the bop that was dm oh my goodness um then we had what talk and talk before them which kind of go in that cutesy direction and now that we are well what five six releases talk and talk dm stay this way five releases in uh during the Pletus era of From S9, I can pretty confidently say that they've gone five very, well, not very different, but five different directions sonically. All five of them have hit for me. And knowing From S9, there's bound to be at least one S plus tier banger uh, hidden away on the B sides. And I'm very much looking forward to getting involved with those. But I'm going to wrap up the MV once long here. Thank you all for watching along with me. Hopefully you enjoyed it as much as I did. One last request from me today. Let us work together as a community to bring a little bit of extra happiness back into the world. Whether it be you know checking with your friends and family, holding the door open for somebody, or even picking up a piece of trash off the street. Just one small act of kindness that may brighten up someone else's day to day. And know that wherever you are in the world, should you ever be going through a tough time in your life for whatever reason it may be. Even though I'm just some guy and they don't know who waffles about music in his free time, know that I will always be a friend, an ally, and a shoulder to lean on whenever you need me. So take care of yourselves, take care of each other, spread the love, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.